Like, hey guys, Andrew here, firefighter detective, out here in uh, southern Wisconsin at a permission from my friend. House dates back to like the 1900s, like legit like 1900s, so we're going to be excited about what we can find. I'm going to get my stuff all ready and we'll get to it. There you go guys, first target of the day right off the bat, 85, modern day penny, it looks like, it. let's see what the date is here, 19... 81, on to the next. Not less than like three feet away from the penny, just found these. Another 80, 84 signal, metal washer. On to the next. Got my friend Scott over there. He uh, is a legend and he invented me a lot at Treasure Fest last, or Treasure Fest 3, October 2021. He's on to something now, hopefully it's a good thing. but. That's my friend Scott. So, this was reading about a 7983 signal, so I thought I'd dig it. It's about six to seven inches down, and by the looks of it, I'm guessing this is probably some sort of electric fence piece. Still, interesting find. On right, to the next. So far, it's just been a lot of aluminum scrap foil in this section here that I just covered from the sidewalk to just about where that utility marker is. Just pulled out more scrap aluminum from right there. Let's see if we can actually find some decent today. Another 83 symbol ended up being some metal, green, probably. I think I got uh, 83, 84, so I'm gonna probably a penny in this clump, but I'm gonna get to the front out and uh, see what we can find. I'll keep the camera running just because, share it with you. Hopefully the pinpointer doesn't mess with the detector here. It looks like scrap aluminum. Yep. Yeah. 
nothing else. Nope, that was it. So I was getting like a, a 53 to 60 signal here, jumping back and forth. Let's find out what it is together. Hey, we're on the board. Pull tab. We're on the board for pull tabs. Alright. Yay. Yay. So this one rang in like a 34, 60, and then it jumped up to like 89, 92. So I'm gonna see what we can have here. What do we got here? Is it gonna be silver? Is it gonna be a pull tab? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm striking out again, more scrap aluminum. So, it's getting a 7783 signal here. It's coming back and forth. Let's uh, see what we got though. More scrap aluminum. I'm guessing. Kind of weird. But hey, nothing else in the hole. Fill back in. All right. Out of the next. Yeah. Hey guys, I got another 7783 signal here in the plug. Uh, let's see if we can locate it with the pinpointer first. Just check the hole too, just to make sure. Sounds like it's near the surface on the back side. Where'd it go? Oh look, hey, another prize, more aluminum scrap metal. On to the next. <laughs> well, that was kind of funny. My friend Scott comes over here and he's like, hey, you got your first ring of the year. I don't know what type of metal. This is obviously just some sort of probably aluminum or whatever, but hey, <laughs> I'll take it. On to the next. Oh, I just pulled these out of the ground. A little bit more pieces of uh, scrap metal, probably to a bucket or something. Who knows? But still, interesting to find. On to the next one. Hey guys, so with this one, I was getting an 87 to 91, 92. Very promising signals. I have no idea what it is, but let's get the pinpoint out, find it, and we'll show it to you. Keep watching. I'm gonna switch the side so I'm not making a shadow. All right, pinpointer. Oh, look at that. Old mason jar lid. 
mason jar lid. Guys, I'm gonna go on to the next one. Hey guys, I uh, just had some technical difficulty with my GoPro, but down here in this hole, uh, about six inches down, was a good 83 84 signal. However, it was just too far down, and I didn't want to bother pulling out if it felt like because it felt like a pipe. So, I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, guys, in this hole, I was getting a 60, 65 signal. Let's see what we can find. Oh, look, there's our winner. More scrap aluminum. Hmm. Seems to be the targets of the day. On to the next one. Well, I got another decent signal in the 80s. Get the pinpoint out and see if we can find it. Figure out what it is. Definitely in the hole. It's in the hole. Well, oh, that's what I found here. Another piece of scrap metal. On to the next one.
All right, guys, I just finished up lunch. A couple of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and some uh, body armor drinks. Not uh, sponsored by anybody. Um, I'm gonna try to check out this front garden area where the pumpkins are going and see what I can find. So let's get back to it and I'll share with you when I find things. All right, guys, another 83 signal. I think it's in the plug this time. See what we can find. Come on. Uh, well, we might be striking out here. The corner hasn't hit it yet. Weird. All right, well, let's fill it in. Let's see what we can find. I'll check it again with the detector. So what it was down there, finally got it out. A green piece of metal. Out of that. All right, guys, another decent signal. Uh, bouncing around though, 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Hopefully it's uh, a cling of some kind. Got my pin point out, ready to go. Looks like it's detecting in the plug. What is this? That's some sort of a clamp at some point. Interesting. Clamp of some kind. Still a cool find, I guess. You know what that's from? Stamped uh, 148. If you know what that's from, let me know. Please, thank you. Now, there's something you don't find every day. That is a bullet. I don't know what caliber, but nonetheless, a bullet. On to the next. Alright, guys, I'm back. Another good signal, mid 80s to high 80s. I think it's here in the plug. Yep. Is it a coin this time? Indian? Something? Come on, what do we got? What do we got? Another one? One of these washer things? You guys see that? Interesting. Alright. I know that next. So you guys, I was just taking that signal. I didn't do it live, but I was getting a good uh, signal 84, 86, very loud tone. And out popped first silver of the year, 1943 Mercury Dime. I'm going to let that come on out real quick and I'll uh, get back to it. Hopefully there's more of these in here. Alright guys, I got another 8485 signal here, a loud tone. Same uh, sunflower patch as found the other mercury dime, so let's see what we got here. I think it's in the hole, so let's get in and find it. Alright, pinpointer. Oh, that's disappointing. Just another can. All right. All right, guys. Another decent signal. 8284. Let's see what it is. It's got the pinpointer on now. It's in the hole. What do we got here? Let's get the tool out. Scrape. Alright guys, another ring, brass ring or iron ring or something, on to the next. 
All right, guys, throw my shadows in the way. Got another target here, decent target. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully. Well, where to go? Come on. This again. See if I Alright guys, here's my recap for the day. Got this, uh, what I believe is a piece of uh, electric fence, curb reference, green metal, the iron ring, all the can slaw, more than I want to find. I'll get over here, a couple washers, some backing, big nut, this clamp thing is 14.8 or 3. Sorry, 14.3, the one bullet that I found, much more caliber, interesting. This mason jar canyon lid, good housekeeping institute. Not sure much about it, but if you know about these, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna try to clean up and uh, do some research when I get home. The one ring obviously maybe perhaps made from a spoon and penny modern day dime and the one silver the 1943 mercury dime that's my finds for the day thanks for watching and if you're new to these videos i hope i can earn you your subscription today thanks for watching see you next time